Hi everyone, I'm Maya and you're watching LDD TV and here I have the Jujube Hobo Bees. I have it in the licorice swirl, we've got it in the drip drops and the um, Dreamy Diamonds, sorry, Dreamy Diamonds. This is the new print that they just came out with uh, while they introduced the new bag which is the Hobo Bee. This is a great purse, um, just a really, really cute bag and it fits a really nice amount. Now in these three I actually put random items. This is the only one that has kind of like the makes sense items. I just wanted to show you guys different capacities um, as far as how much can fit. We'll start out with the ones that, well, let's start with licorice 12. I didn't put anything in the side pockets. This is just for the uh, actual main pocket capacity for the most part. So in here I've got three items. We've got the Calencom changing kit. And it has kind of stuffing in it, so this is actually pretty thick. And I have three, I'm sorry, so we have four things in here. I have the sugar, I'm sorry, yes, sugar snap diaper bag filing system. I've got three pieces here. This one is the one with the pretty pushers delivery gown. If you guys want to see, um, you know, know more specific details on what's in these, check out the video that I did for them. I left the same items in there. This one, just to quickly go over, I've got a large sanitizer here, some hair accessories, toothbrush, toothpaste, Advil, deodorant. And in this one, I have 10 diaper size, one to two. So these four items were able to fit with the different items that are inside them. Uh, this just has filler, but you can imagine diapers, wipes, ointments, things like that. And did I put anything? I didn't put anything in the pocket. So again, this was just for the main compartment. So that was able to fit into this one. In the drip drops, did I do anything in this one? Nothing in the front pocket, just the main pocket again. Now this one, what I wanted to do here, first of all, I've got a bunch of diapers on the side, but if anybody recognizes what this is, it is the Jujube Fuel Cell. And I wanted to just show you guys, I know a lot of you own, um, you know, this accessory right here, so now you can see approximately what is able to fit. This is stuffed with uh, filler for the purpose of the video. So it's pretty much um, stuffed almost to the max. There's just a little bit of space up here. It does fit in. It takes up most of the space. I highly, highly doubt um, that you guys are going to use this in this bag. This is specifically just to show you guys that it fits in there and how much space is left. Just for those of you that actually own this but want to know how much fits in the um, in the hobo bee. And as far as the diapers are concerned, let me just do a quick count because I can't don't remember how much I had, uh, how much I threw in there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 diaper size, 1 to 2. And that's with the fuel cell. So the capacity is about this much for the main compartment. That's a nice amount, especially when you're looking at a bag that looks so small, which it really truly does. When we first, uh, when I first saw this when we got it in, I'm like, wow, this is a pretty small bag, and I'm thinking, what could fit into it? Here's where I show you what can fit into it still a little bit of room to spare. I know you guys hate hearing that, but you gotta keep in mind we don't have all the accessories available to us. To start, here we have it, um, and I wanted to do, actually do a separate video, but I'm gonna do it all together, might as well. We've got the water bottle on either side. Stephen Joseph, regular, Poland Springs. We've got a book in the back over here. Now keep in mind, this pocket is actually very, very roomy. Although I have a book here, I have the changing pad that it comes with, this is the light changing pad. How awesome is this print? There is a nice amount of room here, so you can actually fit a lot more into this back pocket. In the front pocket over here, now over here, I know it's hard to see on this print. I'm going to do a close-up for you guys as well. There are two pockets over here. You've got this one, and then you've got a small zipper pocket right here. This is the final one where you can put your MP3 player, your phone, things like that. Now in the main pocket over here, as I mentioned in um, some other videos, I think it was the Be Right Back video where I had the B major fit perfectly into that front pocket. I think Jujube actually goes out of their way to make sure that these fit um, in the front pockets just because a lot of you guys love this item. So it was actually able to fit in here with room to spare. I have the B major in that big front pocket as well as a mini snack bag. This is by Bumpkins and a Calencom pacifier pouch. And now in the main compartment, we've got a bunch of items. Now just remember, all this is from the other ones. This is from this one. You can just separate it. So I've got another mini snack bag by Bumpkins. We've got a sugar snap diaper bag filing system pouch here. This has three items in it. I've got some toothpaste and hair ointments, things like that. 
We've got an angel deer stick rattle, bark cloth, bib. We've got a jujube bee quick in here. Now this has filler in it, so it's almost stuffed to the max. We've got another water bottle. The large bumpkin snack bag, as well as the itsy ritzy snack bag. And I've got a utensil as well as a pacifier with a pacifier clip and a sanitizer. And I think that's basically it. Something fell over there. I think that is it. We're done. Anyway, I hope you like it. Search Little Dudes and Divas on YouTube for more videos. I'm going to give you guys uh, a look at the inside. We're going to do a close-up. We're going to do some comparisons and all that good stuff. Have a great day.